Okay, we've got one more flavor of bean. This is the message bean. This bean receives messages and can act on the message in the same way as any other bean, but it doesn't respond to the sender of the message. It works like this. The client makes a method call, but the method call is intercepted by the container. The container grabs the information passed to the method call and allows a return immediately to the client. It's a void method call, so no information is returned to the client, but the client is no longer involved at all. The method returns and the client goes on its merry way doing whatever else the client needs to be doing. The container puts the message into a queue of messages bound for the message bean. The bean then retrieves the message from the queue. There could actually be several beans of the same class that are taking messages from this queue. There's a pool of message beans, and each incoming message gets its own copy of bean from the pool. The message coming to the bean causes the onMessage method to be called with the message content as its argument, and the bean does whatever it's supposed to do when it receives such a message. When the bean finishes processing the message, it returns to the container and the message is removed from the queue. If the message bean invoked a transaction and that transaction was rolled back instead of completed, the message would simply remain on the queue and be put back into service again. This action is the same as a stateless session bean except for the fact that the client process doesn't have to wait until the request is completed. You can see with this setup if the job the bean needs to do can take a bit of time, several identical beans could be working on requests simultaneously. There are two distinct flavors of messages. There are topics and there are queues. Topics have a publisher and a subscriber. The publisher is the process that creates and sends the message. Any subscriber listening to the queue can pick up the message and act on it. The message can go to any and all of the subscribers. A normal subscriber bean will miss many messages passed through the queue while the bean was busy doing something else. Or any subscriber can have what's called a durable subscription, and nothing will be missed. All the messages will be held in a queue for that subscriber. If you use the topic model, a durable subscription is probably the most useful form. With a non-durable subscription, it's possible to lose messages entirely if everybody's busy. Messages can also be delivered to the beans in a queue. The producer of the message intends it for one and only one bean. The message is to be processed only one time. All of the messages get in line and are taken out of the line one at a time by the message beans. Durable topic subscriptions can be useful, but it's more common to use a queue. That guarantees that one bean will act on the message and that most often makes the most sense for an application. It's more common to send messages one-to-one -one than one-to-many. A bean can fail. Maybe the bean tried to perform a transaction that wouldn't commit, or maybe the bean just crashed and went away. Remember, the bean normally returns to the container, so that information is detectable by the container. If either of these things happen, the message is not removed from the queue. Instead, it's left in the queue and given to another bean.